is in our um, professional development training here at the museum um, in partnership with the phenomenal, dynamic Clarice, Clarice Smith Performing Arts Center led by Jane Hirschberg. Um, we're so happy to continue partnering with them on these educational initiatives. Uh, and we're happy to partner with Artworks Now, another great community partner in the Gateway Arts District. We're in the Gateway Arts District here, here right now. Very happy to bring back um, our scholar in residence, um, Dr. Arbita, uh, Dr. Arbita Washington Cherry. It is real socially. We do not live in a post-racial society or world, even though we have Barack Obama as our president. <laughs> okay, race is real. It's not something, I mean, certainly money helps shield folks from other forms of discrimination, but it does not erase uh, the racial discrimination that people exhibit. If this is not something that's mainstream when you come into a school, if you don't have this training as part of what happens at the very beginning of the year and throughout the year, you're not going to know this information because you're approaching your students or whatever based on whatever, like you said, based on whatever you know. Valuing our colleagues' experiences too, saying, hey, I don't know this. I don't know about this group of kids I have. I don't know about this culturally, racially. Can you help me? Especially since we're not getting professional development. That's invaluable to have a network like that. There are current things that are happening and you see like I'm seeing so many of these different issues happening like with each one of my students.